In this video, we'll do the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx. This is also equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus y squared dy. And we'll set this equal to i. So i times i, or i squared, is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus y squared dy. So now we're going to combine them. So we're going to do the integral from 0 to infinity, the x part, the integral from 0 to infinity, the y part, of e to the minus x squared times e to the minus y squared. But we can combine them to be e to the minus x squared minus y squared. But we can factor out the negative, so we get dx dy, like so. So now we're going to let r squared be x squared plus y squared. And using some Calc 3 logic, this means that r dr d theta is dx dy, which is dA, by the way. So this will be the integral, double integrals, e to the minus r squared times r dr d theta. And now let's look at this integral. So x is going from 0 to infinity, and y is going to 0 to infinity. So this is the first quadrant only. So you can think of this as a circle, and the angle is pi over 2. And the radius is going to infinity. So r, goes, so r will go from 0 to infinity, and the angle, theta, will go from 0 to pi over 2, which is 90 degrees radians. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So this will be, let's do the integral. So integral from 0 to pi over 2 of so we have to do, let's multiply by 2r by 2, negative 2. So we have to divide by negative 2, so that's negative 1 half, multiplied by. So this will be e to the minus r squared from r being 0 to r approaching infinity, d theta, and I'm missing the negative 1 half at the front. So this will be negative 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 2. And I'll use the negative with this to reorder the integral, or when you plug it in. So this will be e to the minus r squared, plugging in from r going to infinity to r equals 0. But when you plug in infinity, it's e to the minus infinity, so that will go to 0. So I can not, not get rid of it. So this will be 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 2. Of So now r is 0. So we plug that in, so that would be e to the mi 0, which is 1. So this, is just, this will just be 1 d theta. But integrating that will be 1 half of theta from 0 to pi over 2. And 0 goes to 0, and this, so this will be 1 half times pi over 2, which is pi over 4. So now we have that i squared is pi over 4. And i is bigger than 0, because the original integral... This function is never negative, so it's greater than 0. So this means that i is only positive square root of pi over square root of 4, which is, square, which is just 2. So that is the answer to this integral, and that's the end of the video.